Good morning, Jeffrey Scott, tight guy here. A drummer for a height. Boom. Jeffrey Scott, tight guy here. Welcome to my live Q and A stream for August tenth, two thousand and nineteen. My God, it's August already. My name is Jeffrey Scott. I am the tight guy. All the tights you see here on my stream are available on my website, tightsguy.com. Let me tell you the difference between my stuff and everybody else that's out there. This is made for you. You pick the colors, you pick the accent colors, you pick the length, you adjust the length, and you get it made for you. My styles and my designs are all made for Ben. They have a low rise front with waistband elastic and a drawstring. It has a high back, so you're not showing any crack in the back side it also has legs that are shaped for men these are not square tights and i also have some extra room in the pouch so you're not flattened these are not your wife's unisex tights these are made for men from the design and you get them bespoke which means they're made exactly for you made the way you want them if you want red in the front and black on the sides you got red in the front and a black stripe down the side if you want a contour side stripe with yellow and orange you got it these are made for you these are made for men, and that's what I'm talking about. Now, today, I'm talking specifically about a couple new releases that I've had. One, last week I had a release that was a front pocket, and you saw a lot of that one. Uh, it looks kind of like a front jeans pocket. They're fantastic. I have them here if you want me to try them on as well. Today, I'm wearing the side pocket. You can almost not even see it, but this is a... Uh, an iPhone 6. It's the large version, and it fits in the pocket. It's not a problem. Um, it goes in and it still has some room over the top here. Now I have a Pixel XL, which is also no problem. I designed this to make sure it fits everything in there and you can jump up and down and you can do all the running you need and it doesn't fall out. It stays in there. And there's also enough room uh, distance wise for you to put it in upside down and your headphones can go in. Your standard stock headphones go in and it's not a problem. Let me get rid of my measuring tape because I don't want it to clank against that let me get my coffee and i'll say hello hey guys what's going on so these are the side pocket tights they're fantastic i love them this is my other phone say hi to me on that uh got my coffee i'm a little excited how are you guys doing today who we got i got uh david good morning david how are you doing matt matt <laughs> i do have to talk to you about what happened last night it was it was funny. It all happened like in the span of like 10 minutes with that photo that you posted. It, it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, I got to send you a card too, by the way. But before I do that, let me talk a little bit more about these. So when I designed these, I wanted to make sure that I had a first couple of designs where the pocket was just set on the top, just like the front pocket designs. The side pocket is actually included um, as an option for all of the Milla skin right now. It's going to expand to any of the solid color fabrics that you want. Uh, and the pocket comes in the same color because the contrast pocket, as much as you think you might like it, the contrast pocket looks clownish. Trust me. So when you get a pocket, there's the same exact design of the Milliskin tights that I have for all of my Milliskin tights in the same design, except there's two extra seams going down the side. So this seam here and this seam here, they go all the way down the leg, and it's an it's a extra four-inch seam. The pocket sits inset within the seam. The pocket on the bottom is floating on the top, and obviously the pocket is available here. That's what it looks like. If you want to zoom into the video, you can. But it is floating on the top, and you can see the, the stitching here. It is part of the seam on the right, and it's part of the seam on the left. When I'm talking about the front pockets, the ones that look like jean pockets, the ones that kind of curve down this way, the, the front design there's a seam on the side here, and there's an extra seam on the side here. The outside of it is set inside the seam, so it looks like it's flesh with just a seam here. The pocket is obviously a pocket, and it has some, um, some extra design on it. The bottom of it is set just like the bottom of these ones here with an extra seam on the bottom. And there's also some extra lines here. And the reason those lines are there is because when you put something in the pocket originally, I just had it floating all the way across the front and things just sat right here. And it wasn't comfortable. So we had to add those lines in, which actually turned out to be a nice decorative feature. Um, holy guy, you guys are going fast. So I have the pockets on today. 
Um, I also wanted to talk about the release that's coming out later on today, so if you're or, or tomorrow. So if you're watching this in the future, this is already out. These are already products that are out there. If you're watching today while I'm live, uh, the pockets are already available. The V front bustle singlet, which I'm going to put on for you in a few minutes, is going to be available tomorrow morning. And of course, for my YouTube watchers, you guys know, uh, you guys actually helped design a little bit of it. Uh, you, the concept was probably three or four weeks ago. Um, let's say about a month ago. And uh, I think Marco was, was a big part of it. Dennis was a big part of it. Uh, Craig was a big part of it. Uh, uh, Greg was also a big part of it. And I'm missing anybody. There were a few people. Um, uh, Matt, you were there as well online. And we talked about having a V in front of mesh that goes all the way down and around back up and that's going to be available tomorrow uh, on the 11th of August, 2019. If you're watching this in the future, it's already there. It's available. It's a staple. The V front singlet is going to be a singlet that you can choose, obviously, the front color, and you can choose the accent color on the sides because that's the way I do work. You can also choose the length. It'll be available. It is available in shorts, trunks, capris, tights length, footed if you want footed that's how I roll. You guys are talking about Storm. What the hell? So, okay, everybody, Matt. Matt on here is, uh, I'm giving you all away. So, so Matt Audet, he's one of my monitors along with Craig and Dennis. Thanks, guys. I super appreciate and I love the three of you so much. Um, <laughs> Matt is also the, <laughs> Matt's got a nickname. Matt, you let me know if I could tell everybody. Ryan, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, Matt, let me know if I could tell you, tell everybody your new nickname, because I feel like it might stick. Um, Matt is one of the guys that's on the new uh, order sheet. So when you order, there's a card that comes in the mail. It says, thank you. It's the thank you card. And on the back, there's a sticker that's got your pick list, but it also has a, uh, your receipt with all the items that you ordered. And uh, me and Greg and Matt are on it. And uh, the word that happens to be over my stomach is fashion. Greg is fitness and Matt's word is fetish so when when matt <laughs> when matt said when matt sent me a picture of himself yesterday just a picture of him at a singlet um my husband derek he said oh fetish just sent a picture <laughs> it was hilarious it was hilarious so matt that's your name in my house now <laughs> hey ryan how's it going uh <laughs> What's happening, Ryan? It's so good to see you. I was talking about you this morning. Were your ears ringing? I had a, a, a meeting. Uh, Spanx Fashion for Men. That's 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 Brian. Hey, Brian. Minnie, how you doing? Um, good morning. And and David, I hope you're still there. That's fantastic to see you, Matt. Dennis, and Craig is there. Cam, how you doing, Cammy? What's happening? Um, Good to have you guys all here. So I have some some good things to show you today. This pocket is amazing. I do like it. And if you think if you want to know how deep the pocket goes, just for, for me, I don't know if I have, you know, T-Rex arms or if my arms are monkey arms. Then uh, they're just just barely beyond the, the bottom seam of this pocket is just barely beyond my fingertips. Um, it's enough to to be able to get my fingers in, and enough for me to be able to rest my my thumb over the top of it. Uh, pretty comfortably, right? Comfortable all the way in. Um, it's a great pocket and you can use it for, for while you're running. You can use it just every day. I've gone to Hobby Lobby. I went and bought some paints for the D&D models that I like to, that I got to paint up. Um, uh, the pocket is obviously super stretchy. That was talking this morning. When I walked down here into the studio, um, I had my cell phone, I had my microphone, the two jack pieces that go with the microphone. I had my other camera that's going on there. I had a white support jock, a black support jock. I had a modesty pad, and I had my coffee, and I had a pen, and I had a couple other things all just sitting right in this pocket. And I was walking down the stairs, and I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty practical. Guys, for so long, I denied the, the, the need for pocket, and I kind of rolled my eyes when people said, hey, where do you put your keys? That's why, that's why all my posts this week have been, hey, you have a place to put your keys, because I rolled my eyes at it. But now that I've been out and about at the store, at the grocery store, at Hobby Lobby, picking up some paints and stuff like that, and I have a place to just get out of the car, you just throw your you know stuff there, or you get out of the car if you were in the front pocket pants, and you throw your keys in there, or you throw your junk in there. <sighs> It's kind of nice. I admit, I was completely wrong. I should have done this years ago. 
but the design I got with Cut to Me Designs and Larry was fantastic. So we collaborated on the front pocket design, make it look more like uh, jean pockets without making them look like jeans. It's a new entity. It looks and feels cool. And this one is going to be the standard. You'll notice some of the big box flat front stores. That's what they're called. Big box flat front stores are starting to do the same thing. So that is uh, a necessity for men. And right now, I'm a little bit uncomfortable because my drawstring, there's a name for that little thing at the end of the drawstring, the little nub. It was, it was right here. So I just put, I tuck it. I usually do that. I tuck the drawstring nubs underneath my waistband so they, they don't show here. That's just a little secret that I use. Um, another thing that I'm super excited about <clears throat> that is not official yet, and it's still a concept, but the concept is moving forward. I, you all know that I'm talking about elastic because I'm doing a version two of my support belt and my support jock. Yes, you know that. It's gonna be branded elastic. I cried this week because I got a design back of the elastic because the elastic of the underwear that you guys are gonna be wearing has got my name on it and it makes me cry. Don't ask me why. I thought it was this little weird childhood dream of mine. I thought Bill Blast was this freaking amazing person because his name was on my underwear. Now my name's on underwear. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. But anyway, some of the elastic, I'm gonna be able to grab some of it and pre-bind it for you. So this belt that I use to tuck my shirt in is going to be available. So I'm gonna have the branded elastic. It'll say Jeffrey Scott Tight Sky on it uh, with the logo on it as well. It's not going to have this, so you're gonna need to step into it, but it's gonna be sold by size. So you'll be able to take this elastic and you'll be able to step into it, put it on, and you'll be able to tuck your shirt up just the way I always do, however you ever want to. And let me tell you what, even if you're not doing that um, in public when you're shopping, when you're out getting gas for the car, when you're doing your things, even if you're not doing it for that, if you just want to tuck your shirt up, take a look at yourself in the mirror, having this tucked in over a pair of tights and keeping the bagginess off of it, one is super comfortable. It looks super sexy and it makes me feel really good. Um, so pick up one of these. They're going to be for sale. I'm, I'm suspecting it's going to be like a like an October release because I'm still finalizing the designs on the elastic. But these uh, belts are going to come out as well. I don't know what I'm going to call it. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. The tuck it up, the the tuck it belt. The I don't know, that sounds too drag queeny if I call it the tuck it whatever. Uh, let me know if you have an idea of what I should call this shirt tucking uh, belt. Uh, so that's coming to that's in the distance. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I gotta also make sure that I talk to you guys so I don't leave you in the dust. Um, Pockets are always great. Thank God, yeah. Um, extra storage is always great. That's true, mini. Aglet, that's the word. <laughs> you used Google, didn't you? Ryan, you're brilliant. You're intelligent. You're super smart. You might have known that word, but I would have used Google even though I'm a designer. That's weird. Uh, Brian Spinnex fashion for men says he's on his way to Kings Island, maybe a pit stop at Marshall's. <laughs> you should. Here's the thing. Oh my God. And I want to do a video of this so bad. Um, we have uh, not a Marshall's. There's a, um, it's not a Steinmart. It's not a TJ Maxx. I'm naming all these stores and they're going to ping me for, for rights violations. There's a Burlington coat factory just blocks away from me. And, uh, I want to go in there. I'm just going to put a black pair of tights on, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to see how many looks I can create in, in maybe a certain amount of time, or I'm just going to see how many different looks I can create. Then I'm going to walk out like I always do with all the shirts that I buy. I walk in with a pair of black tights, and I buy too much because everything looks good with a pair of black tights. It's crazy. So, Brian, I don't know what color tights you're wearing. I think you're probably wearing the ones that you dyed, the cotton and ones that you dyed. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult because that's such a crazy, fun color. But if anybody here walks into a store with a pair of black tights on, basic black, my, my brand or anybody else's brand, and you start putting on shirts, you're going to buy all of them because they're all going to look amazing. It's crazy. And if you buy this, if you bring this belt or have some sort of elastic belt that you use as your own and you do the same thing, you're going to buy even more shirts. It's, I don't know why. It's crazy. It looks great. That, that tuck it up just makes everything feel and look so much better. We can call it the tuck it. Tuck it up or tuck the tail, tuck, tuck it, go tuck yourself. <laughs> uh, you go tuck yourself. Uh, we're supposed to get a Ross here soon. Oh, that'll be fun. Um, I've never been to Ross, but I know it's the same kind of thing. Tucking amazing. Uh, today is Impact. Impact will look good. It'll be harder to match up, but if you're at Marshall's, you'll find 
I'll bet you you'll find at least five shirts that'll go with it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, tuck strap is a good one too. The basic black tights are timelessly good. They do. They cinch it. Uh, that's a good one too. The, you're right. The black, the black goes with everything. It's just, it just, it just does. You know what? I, I got to say, I don't wear black on videos and and on social media. I don't wear black, but I do wear black when I just want to just get out and just be and and do my thing. The reason is, black is a standard. Black is a standard for a reason because it goes with everything. It looks good. It feels good. And when I wear something on, on social media, people see what it looks like and they go out and buy it. I don't need to do that with black. Black sells like crazy anyway. It's because it should, and it's amazing. Speaking of black, we're starting to finalize some of our ideas for Black Friday. We got a lot of texture comparisons, which is not something you can't do now. See that double negative? Which means it is something you can do now. If you want black milliskin with a black metallic stripe going down the side, you can already get it. It's available on the website. I kind of silently released it uh, a couple days ago, uh, and it's available. If you want contour stripes, if you want black mellow skin, which I think is going to look amazing, and I have a pair that I'm going to have made coming to me with black contour, uh, black mellow skin, and then having the contour on the side being black a matte metal. <sighs> it's going to be so good. But if you want, you can have the this color with the blue metallic or with dragon skin or whatever you want. It'll look very similar uh, to this guy, which is also going to be an option when I release the V singlets. You'll be able to have the dragon skin or the metallic fabrics as accent fabrics for these singlets. And yes, guys, this is the one that I made with mesh based off of your recommendations. I remember that day, the video's still out there. I think I just stood there for, God, at least 10 seconds just thinking about how cool it would look. This is not, this is just a sample. This is not a final product because it doesn't have the V on the back. But imagine this, the V in the front and the V in the back, and it would look like this. Da -da -da. See that segue? That was like almost planned or something, but it wasn't. It would look like this. This is the white. This is the same exact singlet with white in the front and the blue on the sides, the white in the front, and it has the V in the back. This is a completed product. This is gonna be released tomorrow morning. If you're watching this in the future, hello to the future, but this is already available on the website. You choose the colors. You choose your front color, you choose your side color. They can be metallics, they can be dragon skin, they can be anything you want, and you choose the length. This can be tights length. This could be shorts, could be trunks, could be capri, could be anything you want. And eventually, you'll also be able to order this in a brief or in a bodysuit style as well. If you want this in brief, it's called a bodysuit. If you want it in a thong, it's called a bodysuit. If you want this in trunks, shorts, tights, capris, three-quarter lengths, then it's called a singlet. All right. The difference, the only, 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 only difference between a bodysuit and a singlet is the length. A bodysuit, I add some elastic, it comes around the side, and if it goes down this way or it goes around and it's a thong, that's a bodysuit. Singlet has got legs. That's it. The only difference, this is available. Go buy this. <laughs> it's on my website, tightsky.com. But now, back to seeing what you guys are saying. Ryan, Ryan, uh, black is such an amazing color because of the versatility. Yes, 100%. Ah, uh, guess that looks so incredible. Thank you, David. Hey, Jeff. Um, your web page, US dollar to Australian dollar, come up 400 bad requests. Uh, what are you, what are you typing? So, are you, um, where? Which page are you talking about? There's a couple different ways you can display Australian dollars, um, or you could just check out using US dollars, and it'll convert it on your credit card, or it'll convert it on the on the checkout page. Um, See the back. Uh, tell me where you're where you're having that problem. But this is also not the form for that. You could email me as well. Uh, the back really brings it all together. Thank you so much. I think um, oh superhero like <laughs> superhero like the back does really bring it in together. And I wanna um, I wanna also show you the other version I have of that. Uh, it is superhero like, and I wanna put it on for you too. Well, the other version I have, this one is a finished product. It looks and feels amazing. It is a tights version with, yeah, mesh. Anybody who's in my Facebook community um, has seen this on, and they've seen how meshy and see-through it is. But there's also mesh to f on the back, which is the V, which shows up on the back. Uh, this looks amazing. 
you do have to be daring. And in fact, mesh is just one of the color options. So if you want it the other way around, if you want the blue in the front and the mesh or any other fabric in the front and the mesh on the sides, that's an option too. I'm not stopping you from doing whatever you want. If you want to completely expose yourself and do mesh and mesh, sweet, enjoy. I'm going to super enjoy it. I'm all for that. Do it. <laughs> but I love it. It feels good. This, um, the picture, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when I took a picture of this, because you know I like to be PG um, in all my pictures, one, because of my business, and two, because my mother watches. So to my aunts and my grandmothers and all my cousins. But anyway, uh, and I don't want to go exposing myself to everybody, even though my family is, it doesn't matter. I try to keep it PG, and there's a story behind the pictures that I took for this are so hard to keep PG. So I did have a support belt on. I wore a white support belt, and the mesh with the lighting that I had showed like some weird curves and angles and colors through it. And um, it, with the white support belt, it, it outlined everything perfectly. So I put on a black support belt, and it still outlined everything perfectly. I threw in a modesty pad. It outlined every detail of my body perfectly with the way the lighting was. And I didn't understand it because I'm not a lighting guy. So that's why I had to just take off a shoulder, put my hand down there, and cover myself. Um, and that's what the photo is of me in this. This is amazing. You guys definitely check this out. Um, I'm not going to show you today, but... I can show you the white version if you'd like. What else? Uh, many, you love how creative the options let us be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, check out Ryan. Ryan looks freaking amazing. There's, um, Ryan's got all of the stripes in the muscle single because he freaking deserves it because he looks amazing. Um, he lets me use his photos online for anything I want, and he's got the black and yellow. He's got the black and pink. He's got the black and purple. By the way, Ryan, the black and pink, you look amazing in as well um uh you get the black and do you have the black and blue stripes i don't know the muscle stripes look amazing on ryan and uh thank you so much for all you do by showing those off on social media it really helps me um convey the fact that there's there's this group of guys that are that are in the gym building their bodies and looking amazing that want this 80s retro style singlet, which is great, and they order, which is even better. There's also guys like me that are just everyday guys that aren't gym guys, that just like wearing singlets, and it's another faction, another group of guys. Those are the ones that are ordering all the other singlets, and also the striped ones, too. So I need you, Ryan, to make sure I can get both groups of people. So I'm just regular, everyday guy. You're like super guy. I <laughs> think you're talking directly to me. <laughs> Dennis, you're so dirty. It's so good. Don't change. I love it. Uh, Ryan says, thank you. You didn't like the pics you took a Friday with the black and pink. So next back day, you're pulling out. <laughs> Ryan, I love the action. Your pictures are fantastic. I could pick them up and move them around and, and throw them on social media. If I would, I would re-send re re them every day. But I don't want to spam people with your pictures. Um, Definitely love the action shots that you send me, the videos that you send me, and I would I would post every single one of them too because that's those are the ones that are actually saying this guy's a gym guy, obviously, and he's wearing the singlet. He looks amazing, and people see what they want. I actually have had a gentleman say he saw you and he bought it because he saw you, and that's not the same guy who was your friend um, who I asked about the other day. So thank you so much for all you do. I don't know if you you understand how how good you're 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 making my life. Um, it updates the page like to now the blue and mesh bodysuit can go mesh and blue. Um, blush, blush, did I say that? Did I say that word? Or did it say blushing? Blush. You are so dirty, Dennis. <laughs> you just, you just subconsciously typed the word blush hung. Greg, is he blushing or is he blush hung? I don't know. You're the only one in the world right now who can tell. <laughs> For everybody, blush. <laughs> I don't believe you. I think that was Freudian. I think that was pretty cool. Let me see. <laughs> You're blushing as well, Cameron. Hey, Cammy. I haven't talked to you in this video for a long time. How you doing, my friend? Um... <laughs> 
Oh, Dennis, you make me blush too. I love you so much. <laughs> It's just amazing. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let me show you that V front singlet because it's going to be for sale. And now I got to find something to talk about. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Ooh. And if we're super lucky, this video won't get deleted because I also had some problems with some exposure when I had the singlet on. For the video, well, the lighting is way different. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to bring this with me so, you guys, so I can talk to you guys while I'm doing this. You're blushing as well. <laughs> oh, my God, that's hilarious. You guys can all still hear me okay, right? Good. Good. Blushing. So, Dennis, I think that was a, uh, a what, they call it a 40-inch slip, but I think you just slipped. <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm better now. This is so weird. Okay. I think you can still all hear me. I'm back here behind my computer. Um, I didn't plan this very well. In the past, when I've changed, it's been um, without a microphone attached to me. And I usually would just yell across the room. But this time I have a microphone attached to me. <clears throat> And I'm kind of doing a little bit of a dance back here. This is not a tease, guys, I promise. Although it's probably like stripper music playing in the background. It definitely isn't Craig and Dennis's house. I know that for sure. It's just a staple. Like, like they have stripper music playing all the time. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys don't mind that I have so much fun with you. Hello, I'm still back here. You can all hear what I'm doing. Now you can see Craig has to deal with it on a daily basis. It's not hard. I'm sure it's not hard for him to have to air quote, oh goodness, to air quote deal with you on a daily basis. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. When's our next Galena trip? And who's joining us? Speaking of trip, so, or speaking of get together, everybody start talking. What do you think about a, a, a get together in the fall? This fall, somewhere in the Midwest, um, let me know what your thoughts are because I have somebody now who has asked if he can help and he does event planning and uh, he could help with all of his expertise in doing the things that he does and it would take a lot of it away from me doing it all. Um, that would certainly help. So I think having a get together would be something that is very possible to have for this year. I'm just going to clip this right like directly to my to my side because I have to. So here is the singlet, which I haven't put on fully yet. Okay, everybody, put on your, take your headphones out. It's going to get noisy. Was that noisy? Okay, so note to anybody who's doing videos online, do not try to change your clothes when you have a microphone. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. All right, I put on this V front singlet. It's gonna make it eventually, I promise. Here we go, I can clip this on now. The rest of it's gonna go on. All right, whoa, what a journey. <laughs> what a journey. All right. All right, what do we say here? He says you're blushing as well. That was a little bit older. I know you can see what Chris is on a daily basis. Yep, a meetup would be awesome. Um, Matt, Greg, Fred, yes. So the meetup would be tight skies only, which means it would be for uh, the people uh, that are part of the community. And uh, I feel like it would be somewhere that's accessible like middle of the country midwest maybe um and i'm thinking we could just hang out shopping do what i think maybe in a big shopping mecca so this is the muscle this has nothing to do with muscle obviously look at me this is the singlet with the sports singlet i'm calling this the v front singlet it has the v in the front and it has the v in the back <sighs> I love the way this feels. It is amazing. 
Imagine this also available in a mesh front. Whatever you get in the front is obviously connected to the back. So this is all the same color. This is the accent color. Uh, this is the main color, which is the tights color. So when you order, it'll be very obvious uh, that this is the V front color, that you have the, the, uh, the, the tights color. I'm currently wearing a support belt that goes along with it, and um, I haven't evened it out yet. I've got a little bit of bunching. Let me fix it. <clears throat> and so the support belt is a black support belt, so you can see that the white color actually supports a little bit of it. This is the typical white milliskin, and I only have white because I can color this up later on digitally and make it look like a different color if I need to. Um, and when I put this on Amazon, it actually works as a better color with the blue. So this is my model sample of the, of the V front singlet. It's got the same singlet design as the sport singlet without the piping, and you get to choose the front color and you get to choose the side colors, and it has the V in the back with the same color on the back as you have in the front. And then the side is obviously the sides. This is also available in any kind of mesh. If you want this to do the mesh like this, freaking so super, super sexy. This is fantastic. If you go to the club, if you're wearing it in the bedroom, if you're wearing it around the house, you just want to feel sexy. You just love mesh and you want to feel sexy. This is what you want. This is what you want. I could totally see this in the club with the mesh in the front and maybe some metallic matte metal on the sides. Um, I could see it with just black metal skin as well. Uh, I can absolutely see this as a full mesh suit. It's not a problem. Uh, you can pick it up. When you do wear it as mesh, you can see that the contour thing, the contour does come around the side a little bit. Um, if you're wearing some underwear or something underneath, um, it's no problem. It shows just the underwear there, and that's how you would wear it and keep it PG. Um, I couldn't do it while I was doing the pictures because the lighting was showing way too much detail, as you can probably imagine. Uh, but this suit looks, let me get my, my mannequin pose, uh, looks and feels amazing. Um, and when you pull it, I usually pull the seams here just to make sure. And of course, guys, these are made for men. There's, there's room on the side for you. There's room in the front for you. The legs are made for men's size legs, men's length legs. I'm not feeling like I'm standing in front of a square. These are not your wife's unisex body suits or singlets. These are not made from a square. They're not cut from a square. If you could see the curves and the patterns that I have for the legs and everything, you'd you would understand, but these are not mass produced. They are not squares. They're not flat front rebranded ladies singlets. These are made for men. That's what's going on. So that looks incredible for sure. So many combinations and ideas that would work with that. Oh my God, that's true. Every fabric that I have, except for a lot of the prints and none of the stripes. I tried this with stripes and let me tell you how goofy and stupid it looked. Uh, one, I can't line up the stripes coming straight up. It doesn't work. Two, when it doesn't line up, it looks completely clowny and it looks awful. So what I would normally do um, is I would wear this with just uh, probably a, um, a modesty pad um, out and about, and I would probably not have the lines, or I wore a jock to make sure that I had the, the obvious lines that are going across the bottom as well. Um, I'd throw a t-shirt on and then just go. Lately I've been doing singlets as pants when I'm walking around with just a t-shirt over the top of it. And you know what, there's this, there's this feeling of security, this, this hugging, amazing feeling that I get when I wear a singlet out just for errands or even around the house all day with a t-shirt. It just feels so good. I don't, oh, it's that tingle again. It comes back and it just makes me feel good. It's completely PG, um, but it feels solid. It feels a little bit safe because you have all this extra fabric around the middle. I don't know what it is, but it just feels, maybe it's going back to when I wore uh, bib tights for cycling. Uh, the bib, when you're leaning over the bike, the bib just helped me feel a little bit more secure and everything as opposed to just having another layer of elastic around the middle um, and all the, all the rubbing it could potentially do. This got rid of all that and it also gets rid of, it also adds a little bit more security that your pants aren't gonna fall down. I don't know what it is. There's something going on in my brain that makes this more secure feeling than, than just having a pair of pants or a regular pair of tights and I just love having a singlet with a t-shirt and just going out and being comfortable it's a totally different feeling, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try it out. Um, Mini says, is there such a thing as a metallic sheen mesh? 
uh, transparent, but yes, actually. Uh, the singlet mesh can be the other way around. Yes, David, it can be. It looks amazing. Thank you so much, Minnie. Um, so Minnie asks if they can be um, metallic shine mesh. I do, and I did. Let me show you. Let me see what you think. This is not available right now. Uh, I have it on the copper. So for, I think it was Black Friday one year ago or two years ago, when I first re uh, released the contour mesh, there was a uh, contour mesh available on my side in metallic. And this is a mesh also in the contour family uh, with a metallic sheen on it. I can only get it in certain colors that match, but this is a copper um, sheen over the mesh. Uh, believe it or not, this one didn't sell very well at all. I had it on the website for the last year or two years, as long as it has been out there. Um, and I just took it down a few months ago recently because having the extra mesh colors was a little bit high of a cost for me, but it came in, in several different colors. I'm starting out with the black right now. Um, and that's how it'll be. And if that continues to sell very well, then I'll start releasing the, the extra colors as well. But for now, mini, I'm sorry. It just didn't work out. It sounds like it's an amazing idea and it looks super cool because it looks kind of wet when it's on. If you look at my Instagram page, I even have a couple videos of me doing a little spin in those same exact pair um, that are out there. So check those out if you want to see what they look like, but they just didn't sell very well, so I had to take them down. Um, thanks, Ryan. The stripes are the ones I have available. They're perfect. The muscle single with the stripes looks amazing. Everything is always so perfectly comfortable. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate everything you do. Um, it's really hot. Minnie loves it. <laughs> Dennis wants it too. Oh, definitely, you guys. Have, um, let me know. I can. I, I can't do it right now because I don't have any of that, that mesh fabric available, but if you if you ask and, and uh, go take a look at those videos and the photo on Instagram, and they're probably on Facebook also. Definitely take a look at them. They were there, but I had to take them down. So notice I didn't say that they're not coming back. It's all based off of who needs them and who wants them, right? And you guys are part of my primary feedback group. So that in the, in the uh, Facebook community. Uh-oh. Shit. Coffee. We need coffee. Where's my assistant? Oh, yeah. I do everything. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> it's so weird watching myself talking to you guys. I just bent over, too. And there's a delay, which is weird. I should show you what I got to, to look at. This is, uh, the world's folding in on itself now. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking at here at the uh, at the computer. And eventually I'm going to be able to multi-stream, so I'll be streaming to multiple services at a time, but right now it's just one at a time. Anyway, you guys have any other questions or you want to see anything else? We're at the point in the, in the stream where we're just going to start playing around. We're at 37 minutes. What do you want to see? What do you want me to talk about? What are you interested in hearing more about? And do you have any ideas? Because your ideas turn into products. Because that's how I know what everybody wants. <laughs> what do you say? I'll give you a few minutes. Minnie says, you're thinking of a full metallic mesh bodysuit in black or gunmetal. Um, would be smoking hot. Yes, you could do this specific one in black and black. And if that sells out really well, then I'll start offering some more mesh options if I sell a lot of mesh. Mesh is also available right now. The black mesh is available on the contour. It's available as a regular stripe going down the side of tights. It's available on the contour muscle singlet as mesh as well. And now it's available as a, as a fabric on this one. Um, I may also throw it out as on the regular Milliskin page as just plain mesh pair of tights. Um, and let me, let me say, I'll do that and we'll see how it sells. And if it does sell very well as mesh, then we'll see what kind of colors come out of it too. I think mesh is good. It feels good, and it's it's super breathable. And in a lot of instances, um, the mesh sides and everything that I build, these are PG. I mean, even the contour mesh is a super PG thing, and it's not disparaging um, and not difficult to wear. It's just super airy, and it super feels really good. So, yep. What else do you guys think? <clears throat> I like the way the back of this one looks. I think it's. Um, I think we did a really good job. And I'm not patting myself only on the back. I'm patting, patting uh, Cut to Me Designs, who I work with a lot since I've been doing a lot of the sales 
and running the business. I haven't been sewing a lot. Larry at Cut to Me Designs does a all of my sewing, and we design and collaborate together to make sure that uh, the things that we design and that I put out for my brand are are me. Uh, but Larry does a fantastic job. Uh, he designed the back part of this one. We collaborated on the front part. Um, it just looks amazing. I'm really super proud of the work that, that we do together. Um, Minnie says, uh, my husband is getting the mesh bodysuit for his birthday. He'll love it. That's fantastic. Do it. I think you're going to love it, too. <laughs> I think I think you're a smart man. <laughs> buying, buying presents for your husband. He'll never know how much you love watching him walk around in it. Maybe he will. I think he does. <laughs> anyway, Dennis says, for those of us who don't like to wear clothes... Um, how about a support jock where the straps are normal, but the pouch is mesh? Huh. Okay. The answer is yes. Okay. So, I like that idea a lot. A lot, lot. Um, Dennis, pick up a mesh something. I forget if you or Craig have it. This is the same. It's the metallic mesh is, is a little scratchier because of the metallic foil that's over the top of it. But this mesh, I think, would be fine um, as support material and a support belt or support jock with the new version too. Done. Okay. Mesh is going to be an option. So as you well know, and I'll just reiterate, the support belt is getting redesigned. The design of it is the same. The support jock is going to be changed slightly, but I'm adding better quality elastic and better quality all around. And I'm also changing the front pouch from just a black and white option to any of the milliskin options, and it's going to be milliskin fabric. Um, so with the support uh, belt add-on or the support jock add-on, I'm just going to use the same fabric that you purchased. For the support belt and the support jock, they're, they have separate product pages, which they already do, but they're going to be offered in all 16, uh, 17 now, by the way. Milliskin colors. Now we're going to up that to 18 because mesh is going to be an option. Um, if you think of milliskin, think of mesh. So I'm going to add mesh to, it sounds like you guys are really super into it, and I definitely want to do this test. I'm adding mesh to all the milliskin uh, selections. So if you have a milliskin selection on the website, whether it be the front, the side, contour, tights, singlets, anything that has a middle skin as an option, include mesh in there. We'll see how it goes. I'm super excited because you guys seem super excited too, but that includes when I come up with a version two of a support belt. That's a good idea, Dennis. Check. That's done. That's easy. Something I didn't even think about. Your birthday is Friday. So, <laughs> so if you want to get me one too. <laughs> hey, Gordon, how you doing? It's good to see you. Thanks for saying hello. Uh, sure, you have to come to North Carolina to model it for you. Okay. I'm coming. It's definitely warmer uh, in the in the winter time in North Carolina. Uh, how far east in North Carolina are we going swimming, or are we going mountaineering? Just let me know. I'll be there. It's fine, Minnie. I do. I I could look up your address. I I, I know I can, but I don't. <laughs> I can't right now. He says he'll buy the mesh jock in a minute if you have it sewn. Um, do you get a discount if you model it? Yeah. Um, ask Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan doesn't get a discount on any of the products that he gets from me. Um, Ryan and I do have a deal, though. We have a deal, and that's a secret deal. David, can you make a, a mesh type for show? I have one. I have one from a long time ago. I don't show it. Um, I didn't like it when I first designed it. I know that I'm going to make updates, too, but I will. Um, uh, no, I don't have that to show on YouTube. <laughs> I may as well just stand here naked, which is also not an option. Just, just saying. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. This is just a, um, I don't think I have a regular, I do. <clears throat> I have this shirt. Everybody be prepared for headphone headphone warning. I'm gonna put a shirt on and it's gonna go over my microphone and it's gonna be a little loud for a second. Let's see if this will work. I just wanted to show you comfort in a, oh, I got something here. How comfortable this is. Alright, microphone warning's over. You can work with black without this little strap here. And if I wanted to, I could pull it up with the belt. This shirt is really super long. 
So you can wear it this way if you want to wear it out. This is a perfectly cool look. It's fine with any singlet, uh, with a regular t-shirt as well. This is kind of bizarre. I have a little thing here, so it's not a good growth, but, um, or you could pull it up if you want with a, um, what do we call this? <laughs> uh, I don't remember what we call this. I'll have to go back and look at the comments because one of the things you guys said was really good. Um, or you could just tuck this the way we love to tuck everything. And there you go. Looks amazing. Feels super good. I just love wearing a singlet, a t-shirt, and even with a sleeveless tee, it looks pretty good. Can't deny. I think it's cool. And I love, ignore this line, but I do love this extra line. It's like a, like a, I don't know, it, it looks good. I think it looks pretty cool um, with a singlet underneath. I just feel more confined. I feel better. Agreed. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, love it, big guy. Thanks, Ryan. Definitely many C. The singlet with a shirt does go remarkably well as, uh, as a look as a whole. It does. It does. It's really kind of bizarre. Um, you probably shouldn't volunteer me for that. Uh, cannot, Will. Craig will do the photography. <laughs> Dennis and Craig, for everybody who doesn't know, Dennis and Craig are married. They're probably sitting in the same room. Uh, looking at each other with their computer screens watching me. Uh, we've been on vacation together because they're fantastic guys, and Craig is a photographer. Um, uh, so, <laughs> so I'm going to send Dennis a mesh support jock, and Craig is going to take pictures, and he's going to share it with everybody. It's going to be amazing. www.amazing.com. That's where we'll post it. I'm sure that is available. Um, the Jeffrey Scott shirt, uh, shirt tamer belt. <laughs> I can, I can, I can patent that. I can trademark that. <laughs> you guys, this is great. All right, what else do we have? We're going on 46 minutes. Um, I'm just playing around for anybody else who's still watching the stream. You're probably on live. Um, we do this every, every Saturday. We just kind of screw around. I do some business at the front, and then we just kind of play around try new things on. Uh, what else is happening, guys? The constrictor. Oh, that sounds that sounds painful. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. <laughs> but it sounds painful for sure. Um, let's see. The shirt tamer belt. That's a pretty cool one. I think there was some up, up north in the comments that you guys mentioned that I liked a lot. Um, but anyway, um, that's what I have. We've got... Um, we're almost 50 minutes in, so I'm going to cut it off here, you guys. I'm going to start my, my closing, and I'm going to say, you know, I don't think with the guys that I have online right now that I have to tell you to be good to your friends and, and help them to be more who they are on the outside. But a lot of times uh, there's a lot of people that are watching that are just wishing that they could be more themselves on the outside. And my, my response to that is just to do it in baby steps. You know, wear an extra brooch, wear an extra pin, wear another button open, pull up your sleeves, do what you want. Just a little bit of tempered radicalism every day, and your mind will help you do baby steps towards being who you are on the outside. But let me tell you what, when you are more exposed and you are who you are on the outside, there's less to think about. It's less stressful during the day. The world is a much better place. You could just talk openly, and people love you for who you are. <sighs> Work towards being yourself on the outside. It makes you feel so much better. And when you see your friends doing it, give them a hug, give them a cheer, tell them you love them, and tell them that you recognize that they're doing something that's super difficult and that they're doing a good job. My name is Jeffrey Scott. I'm the tights guy. Uh, I also have a website called tightsguy.com. I sell tights because that's what I like to wear. That's what I am on the outside. I've had a tights thing my whole life, and now I can wear it on the outside, and I feel much better. So give yourself a favor, tempered radicalism, baby steps. You'll get there, I promise. The world is a beautiful place and is a beautiful accepting place lately, so do yourself a favor and uh, be yourself on the outside. Thank you very much for letting me live my dream. I love you guys so much, especially my friends that are sitting here in chat, but even if you're sitting on the couch silently watching, I love you too. Thank you so much. Be good to yourself. Give your friends some love. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.